Good evening. Hello, good evening, Rodrigo. Well, um, it's time already, Rodrigo, so we're going to start because, you know, even though your classmates are not here, we are going to try to do our best and we are going to try to, well, to wait for the others. I guess the others are going to connect probably in a moment. So probably we're just going to wait for the others so we can start in a moment. So how are you doing today, Rodrigo? Um, fine, fine, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay. Do you like Do you like to be called Jose or Rodrigo? Which one do you prefer? Uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo is my first name. Okay. I tell for you, Rodrigo. So welcome, Melissa, I just see that you connected. Thank you so much, guys. As pretty much every single day, I see that you're the only ones that connect on time. That's really nice. Thank you very much. Uh, well, yesterday, guys, we're supposed to have, uh, <clears throat> well, we're supposed to have uh, a homework for today, but I didn't see you sending the homework. I remember I told you the last, picture or the last screenshot you took, it was going to be the homework. As you said, you didn't finish the, the, the exercises that we did. But I just received two people, actually. And uh, I received only, let me just check. I only receive, I guess, is Rocio, I guess. Yes, Rocio. And... Rodrigo, well, yeah, it was you. And also Solufin, I don't know well, who is that. Oh, it has, oh, Christian, that's you, Christian. All right, so um, the others I really don't know, guys. A question before we start, are you guys working on the platform? Si están trabajando en la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes. I'm, yes, I'm finished the unidad number one. Number one. Okay. And what about, I mean, according to. Teacher. Yes. Christian. Any question? Uh, every day um, there release, releases uh, mm -hmm. one uh, homework every day. No. No, it's not going to be a homework every day. So probably weeks, habrán semanas where you will not have homework, donde no les voy a dejar ninguna tarea y solo van a trabajar in the platform. So don't worry about it. Sometimes it will depend on the topic. Va a depender del tema. If I see that you are probably not understanding quite well the topic, I will probably give you a homework. But if I see that you're understanding, that's okay. I will not leave you a homework. So I see that we're just, uh, we're five right now. So we're gonna start, cause you know, we just have one hour and we have to do as much as we can in one hour. So I'm pretty sure that the other ones probably will get connected throughout the session. I understand, as I told you yesterday, that probably some of you arrived from, from your job really late to your home. And probably that's the reason why the others connect that late. So that's simple. I see more people connecting. Welcome to the ones that just connect. Well, we're having some, some students are having some issues. 
But uh, I was going to tell you something about the platform, guys. According to administration, for Monday, you have to have completed at least section number two. The reason why they're doing that is because, you know, we didn't start classes on, on Monday where we're supposed to start classes because of the storm. So uh, for Monday, they are requesting for you to have section number two also completed. So is any one of you already, or any one of you already started section number two or you only completed section number one? I mean, I'm talking about the platform. Only complete uh, section number one. Number one, what about you, Rocio? I am finished section number what? Section number, number one. one. Just one. Yes. Yes, y eh, empecé la sección dos, creo que llevo tres acciones completadas. Ok, ok, that's good. All right, so the others, please. Más, if you can start working on section number two for Monday para el día lunes, al menos tener terminadas unas cuatro o tres lecciones de section number two. Right, please, because the reason why we're doing that is because we're trying to, I mean, to get, uh, to try to get some exercises or as much exercises as we can because of the situation that we couldn't start classes on Monday. That's the reason why we're doing that. So we're going to start with today's class, guys. I'm pretty sure your, uh, your classmates will probably join us in a moment. So, what do you guys remember about yesterday's class? What was yesterday's class about? Who remembers? Use, does, and do and does. Do and does, okay. Um, and how do I use do? Does any one of you remember? Which personal pronouns do I use with do? Um, I can use do, for example, in I, you, they, we. Excellent. I, do we, they. All right. So we can use do for those. What about thus? Thus use with... Uh, hi. He, she, mm -hmm. it. He, he she, she, it. He, she, it. He, she, it. Correct. He, she, it. He, she. Correct. That's correct. Now, question for everyone. Only third person. Only third person. That's exactly the way we call it, Christian. Thank you very much. So let me write something on the chat and I will ask you to verify if it is correct. Okay, I wrote, I wrote a sentence on the chat. So what I need you to do guys is to tell me if it is correct or no. Just write yes or no on the chat, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rocio, you're saying no. The others? Christian is saying no. Rodrigo is saying washes is correct. Okay. Georgina, Georgina, are you still here? Oh, Georgina says no. Okay. Rocio, she washes the card every day. Okay. What about you, Melissa? What do you think? Melissa, are you there still? Washes is a correct. Okay, yes, correct. Who can tell me what does the rule says? Who can tell me the rule? Alguien me puede decir la regla? Or do you remember the rule? 
Yes, verbs ending in she, mm -hmm. es, es, ash, mm -hmm. o, ex. Correct. Excellent, Rocio. Thank you very much. That's what the rule says. The rule says if a verb ends in ch, sh, x, we are going to add es in the verb. Can I say, let me see. Let me write that down. I'm going to write it on the chat once again so you can see it. Okay. What do you think? Is it correct? Yes. Okay, Rocio, thank you. What about the others? And Rodrigo, Georgina, Melissa, what do you think? Christian says, yes, you can. Okay. Georgina says, correct. Okay. And Melissa said, it is correct. Rodrigo is asking, want. The verb want, el verbo want significa querer. Pero no de querer de te quiero, sino de querer something. Querer o decir, exactly, Rocío, exactly. That's, that's what we're talking about. So, lamento informarles que no está correcto. It's not correct. And let me tell you why. The reason why it's not correct is because we have a letter S on the bird. Tenemos una letra S en el verbo. So that. Cuando es negativa no lo lleva. Exactly. So we only say he doesn't want. So we cannot say he doesn't want. Remember that only the, um, the changes that we're going to do in the third person, that is only going to be in obviously positives, but it will never happen in the negatives. All right? So, but I guess that's pretty clear so far. So, uh, is there any question that you might have regarding to yesterday's topic or something like that? No, I guess we're clear. So we're gonna move on guys today to the, to the class that we have for today. And today we're also going to talk a little bit about uh, simple present once again, but to, we're going to focus a little bit more on questions. Okay, so let me just check. Can you see the, no, let me stop sharing, I'll stop sharing. I was trying to share, but it doesn't show up. Oh, can you see the screen right now? Can you see the, the presentation? Yes. Yes, Rosie, I understand. So in English, we got to be a little bit careful because you know, if you are in an exam, an English exam, and by mistake, you thought that it was it was okay, but you know, one simple letter, una simple letra can make a huge difference. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start today, guys, with today's topic, which is going to be the simple present. Once again, yesterday we saw things about positive and negative sentences. So today we are going to. Uh, we're going to go with simple present, but today we're going to focus on questions, okay? So we're going to focus on that. So today we're going to learn how to make some questions using the simple present and to understand if we are going to have some changes also. So 
Let me just move on. And here we have. This is actually, guys, the first part for you to understand. Once again, más, utilizar auxiliaries. Los auxiliares do and does, okay? Auxiliaries do and does. Those are the auxiliaries that we're going to use also, but that is going to depend on the personal pronoun. Dependerá del pronombre. So you can see it once again. So what do we do here? ¿Qué hacemos acá? For example, imagine, imaginemos que tenemos, imagine that we have, let me just go back here. Let me go back to the main thing. Here. So imagine that we have the sentence, imaginemos que tenemos la oración, y, uh, let me see, he it. So we have that sentence. Tenemos esa uh, oración. He eats. He eats uh, pupusas. So what happens? From this, de esta misma sentence, from this same sentence, we can make a question. Podemos hacer una pregunta. Here, what we're saying, lo que estamos diciendo acá es, él come pupusas. He eats pupusas. Now, para preguntarle a alguien, ¿come el pupusas? What do we do? Which is the auxiliary? ¿Qué auxiliar vamos a utilizar with him? Easy. We're going to use thus, right? So, we say thus, he, le quitamos la S al verb, and pupusas. And then, question mark. That's what pretty much what we're going to do. Eso es básicamente una simple question that we're going to transform, que vamos a transformar one simple sentence into a question. So let's move on. Here we have some examples of questions in simple present. And I would like someone to help me reading. So I would like to ask, uh, Rocio, can you help me, Rocio, asking the first question? Con todos los pronombres, please. Which all the pronouns? Do I like cheese? Mm -hmm. Do you like cheese? Okay. Do we like cheese? Okay. Do they like cheese? Great, excellent. That was good. So, let me see. Let's move on to the part of the third person. So, Christian, I will need your help, Christian. Okay. Does he like cheese? Does she like cheese? Mm -hmm. Does it like cheese? Great. So, does, does it like cheese? Mm -hmm. Excellent. That was good. Thank you very much, Christian. So, I want to say that, okay. I mean, you are, you are making a good intonation of a question. It's, that's important. Es importante la entonación de una pregunta because sometimes we have that problem in Spanish. También tenemos ese problema en español. What happens? Have you ever been in a situation? Una vez han estado en la situación where someone, cuando alguna vez alguien les dijo, ¿me estás preguntando o estás afirmando? So that happens in Spanish. So if that happens in Spanish, the same thing happens in English. Why? Because sometimes we do not make the right intonation of the question. No hacemos la entonación correcta. So it's not the same. No es lo mismo si yo digo, do I like cheese? Do I like cheese? Que si digo, do, do I like cheese? That's different. Mm -hmm. A little bit of an intonation when you're making a question. Now, how is that? So here we have the short answers, respuestas cortas. Mm -hmm. For example, si yo voy a decir, yes, I do. Si, gusta, yes, we do. Si, nos gusta a nosotros. Yes, they do. Si les gusta a ellos. Yes, you do. 
si te gusta a ti o a ustedes. And if we're saying, or if we're using the third person, we can say, yes, he does. Yes, she does. No, he, oh yes, he does. So we can say that. Now, for example, uh, or in the way of no, if we wanna say no, we say, no, I don't. No, we don't. No, you don't. No, they don't. <clears throat> or we can say no, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, he doesn't. Or remember, as I told you yesterday, we can also use do not, because this is the contracted form, okay? The contraction. Now, for example, Rodrigo, if I ask you, do you like cheese? Yes, I do. Okay, that's great. Let's see, Rocio, do you like cheese? Yes, I do. Okay, great. What about Omar? Do you like pupusas? Yes, I do. Great, Georgina, let me see. Do you like uh, paella, Georgina? <clears throat> Repeat, please. Do you like paella? What is this? I mean, paella is a, like like a dish, as un plato with with uh, you know like seafood con marinos, I guess, and with uh, a lot of things. Paella y pa mí, dice. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so uh, Georgina, so do you like paella? Mm, I don't. Remember, we say, no, I don't. No, I don't. That's what we say. Now, let's see. No, I don't. Are you there, Tony? Because I can see that Tony is connected, but I really don't know if he's there or not. So, Melissa, if I ask you, uh, let's see, does Gina like... Paella, Melissa? Does Georgina like paella? No, she doesn't. She doesn't. Excellent. So we're going to base, based on the context, mm -hmm. but in context so we're going to give an answer. Those are short answers, respuestas cortas, but Americans, most of the time, as I told you yesterday, como les dije ayer, Americans love using contractions and speaking short because it also exists, también existe una forma larga de responder, which we are going to see later on, que vamos a ver más allá. So at these type of questions, a este tipo de preguntas in English, les llamamos yes or no questions, preguntas de sí o no, okay? So that in Spanish, we call them como preguntas cerradas. That's, that's what we call them in Spanish. So we have the same thing in English and in simple present, it happens in this way. So we're going to move on to the next part just to, just to check. We have the contractions, guys. We're going to see the contractions also because sometimes we make a mistake that we don't do the pronunciation of, of the word. So we have to say, for example, don't. Here, you have to make a clear sound of the letter T. So not only say don't, because if you say don't, that's not don't, which, which is completely different, or doesn't. Make a little sound at the end of the letter T. So don't, do not. Doesn't, does not. So I will need to listen to everyone. We're going to start with, you know what? We're going to start with you, Christian. Excuse me? We're going to start with you. Make the pronunciation of these four. Okay. Don't, do not. Doesn't, does not. 
Ok, that was a problem. You see, ahí tuvimos el, el, la, el, primer, el primer problema. Como te dije, es, it's necessary pronunciar la letra T al final, porque yo no te escuché la letra. Ok. Solo escuché don y dasen. Ah, ok. Ok, go ahead okay. once again. Don't. Ok. Y do not. Ajá. Uh -huh. And doesn't mm -hmm. and not great. That was way better. Eso fue mejor. It's, so you see those little things, esas pequeñas cositas, little things can make a huge difference when we're speaking with someone who is native of language. Now, Melissa, thank you very much, Christian. Okay. Can you go ahead, please, Melissa, and do the okay. thing with the pronunciation? Okay. Don't do not. Okay. Doesn't does not. Excellent pronunciation, Melissa. Thank you very much. We're gonna go with Rodrigo. Okay. Don't do not. Mm -hmm. Doesn't does not. Excellent. That was good. Rocio, let's go with you. Okay. Don't, so not. Mm -hmm. Doesn't, does not. Okay, here in the first one, in don't, you said it great, excellent. But then in doesn't, you didn't make the sound of the letter T. So say it again. Doesn't. The T at the end, doesn't. Doesn't. Great, that was better. Good, thank you very much. Does not. Omar. Let's do the same thing with you, Omar. Okay. Don't, do not, doesn't, does not. Great. That was good, Omar. Thank you very much. Georgina, let's go ahead and do the same thing with you. Don't, do not, mm -hmm. doesn't, does not. Doesn't. Does not. Okay. Great. Let me see who's missing. Claudia, are you there, Claudia? Well, she's probably not there. Or she's having some situation with the internet because that's what, what that's what happens. So, as you can see, guys, here we have the same example. Tenemos el mismo ejemplo. So, does it sound different? Suena diferente cuando hacemos contraction or not? He does. Yes, he does. So let, let's listen to the pronunciation. I don't like meat. I don't like meat. So here, cuando ya estamos hablando rápido, ya no pronunciamos la T. We say, I don't, I don't like meat. I don't like meat. Suena una T, pero casi desaparecida. I don't like meat. So in here, I do not like meat. I do not like meat. I don't like meat. Now let's do the same thing. Rodrigo, go ahead, please. Let's listen to the difference. Um, I ready? Yeah, just read it. Okay. I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't like meat. Mm -hmm. I do not like meat. Okay, thank you very much. That was good. Melissa, let's do the same thing, please. I don't like meat. I do not like meat. Great, thank you very much. Rocio. Rocio, I don't know if you're talking, but I can see your microphone off. Oh, I don't like meat. Mm -hmm. I do not like meat. Okay, that was good. Christian. Okay. I don't like meat. I do not like meat. That was good. Thank you very much. Georgina. I don't like meat 
I do not mm -hmm. like meat. Okay, great. That was good. Now let's see. Uh, we have someone else, I guess, or no? Oh, Omar. Go ahead, Omar. I don't like meat. I do not like meat. Thank you very much. Tony, are you there, Tony? Well, he's probably not there yet. Well, so we're gonna continue with that. So this, this is just the contraction that we have. So we're going to move on to the other parts. And in this part, I'm gonna ask you to make the difference in third person, using the third person, utilizando la tercera persona, I need to listen to you sounding or making the difference in pronunciation. For example, let's see. Uh, I will give you, les voy a dar tres verbos a cada uno. So for example, the first one, el número uno, number one, two, and three is going to be for Christian. Number three, four, and six is going to be for Melissa. Number seven, eight, and nine is going to be for Rocio. 10, 11, 12 is going to be for Rodrigo. 13, 14, and 15 is going to be for Omar. And 16, 17, 18, Georgina. I don't know if I ask you. It's just going to be for Georgina. So let's go ahead, guys. Let, let me see how you made the difference in pronunciation. Hello. Hola. Hello. Yes. Uh, correct pronunciation. I mean, using third person. I don't it, let's imagine, vamos a imaginar que estos son verbos usando third person, tercera persona. So I need... Ah, tercera persona. Yeah, I need to <clears throat> listen. I need to listen. How do you pronounce those verbs? Imagine that we are using third person. Okay. En tercera persona. Solo el pronombre. No, no, no. Pronombre en tercera persona y el verbo. No, it's not necessary a pronoun. I just need the verb. Ah, sobre el verbo, mm -hmm. en tercera persona. Eh, ok. En tercera persona. Sí. Sí. Mm -hmm. Take. Eh, sería takes. Mm -hmm. Brush. Brush. Brushes. Ok. Great. So, just the first one we say. See. Sees. Take, sí, uh -huh. brush, brush. Sí. But thank you very much for brush. participating, Christian. Now let's go to number four, five, and six. Okay. Okay. Number four, Kisses. five, and six. Okay. Kisses. Mm -hmm. Calls. Hughes. Gives correct. Thank you very much. Now yes. so, well, let's go with seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Um, no creo que no es mi turno, ¿verdad? Es mi turno. Es mi turno. Okay. Rocío, Rocío. Okay. Play. Mm -hmm. Perdón, play. Uh -huh. Studies. Mm -hmm. um, washes. Correct. We say plays, studies, watches. Thank you very much, Rocio. Now let's go with number 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Help, help us. Mm -hmm. Cute, cutest. Mm -hmm. Cry, cryest. Okay, there we had a little bit of problem. Here we say help, helps, cut, cuts, 
cry, cries. Now, cry. Okay. Now, vamos a ver. Do you have an idea about the meaning of the verb C? What does it mean, C? What's the meaning of C? Ver. Ver. Correct. What's the meaning of take? Tomar. Tocar. Tomar. tomar es What's the meaning mm -hmm. of brush? Cepillar. Cepillar. Correct. What's the meaning of kiss? Sa todos la sabemos. Besar. 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 <laughs> What's the meaning Besar. of call? Llamar. What's the meaning of give? Dar. Dar. Excellent. What's the meaning of play? Jugar. Jugar o tocar. Study. Estudiar. Estudiar. What about watch? Mirar. Mirar. Okay. What about help? Ayudar. Ayudar. Correct. What about cut? Cortar. 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 Excellent. What about cry? Llorar. Excellent. Todos también hemos usado el verbo cry someday, alguna vez. Now, <laughs> on to the last person. Yeah. We're going to be number 13, 14, and 15. Swings. Mm -hmm. Wakes. Okay. And teach. Teach. Are you are you sure about that? No, I, I I not. You're not sure. Okay. Remember a rule that says that when the verb ends in ch, what do we do? Yes. We add a yes. So we say teaches. So we say swim, swims, wake wakes, teach, teaches. So what's the meaning of the verb swim? Nadar. Nadar, correct. What's the meaning of the verb wake? Despertar. Levantar. Levantar, okay. right. What about teach? Enseñar. Enseñar, correct. Now, Let's see, now we're going to have, uh, let's see, Melissa, can you help me with number 16, 17, and 18? Okay. Luces, hatches. Correct. Vice. Excellent, that was good. Luces, catches, and vice. Correct, that was good. What's the meaning of the verb lose? Perder. Perder. What's the meaning of the verb catch? Atrapar. Atrapar. What's the meaning of the verb buy? Comprar. Comprar, verdad? So now let's see. Uh, Christian, can you help me, Christian, with number 19, 20, and 21? Okay. Pass, passes. Mm -hmm. Come. Tom comes. Fight. 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 Correct. What's the meaning of the verb fight? Mm -hmm. What's that? No. Asar. Correct. What's the meaning of the verb come? Venir. 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 What about fight? Golpear. Pelear. 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 So now let's move on to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, number 22, 23, and 24. Okay. Um, waiters, juices, flies. So this is waters, juices, Flies. So, what's the meaning of the verb water? Recuérdense que esto significa agua, but también utiliza mm -hmm. utilizado como verbo que significa regar. Regar. Water the mm -hmm. water the trees or whatever. Water the plant. What about choose? 
Elegir. Escoger. Elegir o seleccionar. That's, that's pretty much. What about fly? Volar. 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 Excellent. So now, Rocío, I need you to help me, Rocío, with the last two, number 25 and 26. Okay. Match. Carries. So we say matches because ends in CH. Termina CH. Matches, care. Oh, sorry, it's matches. Because. All right. So what's the meaning of match? Enlazar será como enlazar, no? O algo así. Emparejar. No, no it's no pretty sé. much like unir. Something like that. So care. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of carry? Llevar. Llevar. Exactly. Cuidar. No. Llevar. Ah, llevar, llevar. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, llevar. So now we're going to move okay. to the next part. Nos movemos a la siguiente parte. This one, we're going uh, to do it later on. La vamos a hacer después. Well, they are just five. Solo son cinco. I think that we can do it right now. So, como cambio, how do I change this positive sentence into a negative sentence? Como la cambiarías tú? How would you change it? Rocio, if I if I ask you, Raúl cycles to work every day. ¿Cómo cambiarías esa to a negative? Oh, negativo. Raúl mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't to, okay cycles to work every day. Okay, cycle. Remember, ahí ya no está la S because it's negative. Now, let's see, Christian. What about you, Christian, in number two? <coughs> we have the shop closes at seven o'clock. How would you make that a negative? Um, the shop doesn't close at okay. seven o'clock. Excellent. That was good. Melissa, number three, Melissa. Ian eats vegetables. I am doesn't eat vegetables. Okay, remember not S. La letra S no, please. A and it does not or doesn't eat vegetables. Now let's go with uh Georgina. Number four, Georgina. Anika watches Umbaji films. Anika um doesn't watches mm. doesn't watches doesn't watch doesn't watch correct because it's negative um como se pronuncia lo demás Punjabi films Pun yeah correct Punjabi films So we're going to move on then with uh, Rodrigo, the last one. You help your parents. You don't help your parents. We say here parents with a parents. Parents. Okay, good. That was good, actually. Now let's move on to the next part. And here we have, once again, just simple examples. For example, simple questions. Do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do I need a pencil? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do you like both? Do you both like chocolate? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do they like chocolate? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does he like chocolate? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does she like chocolate? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does it have four wheels? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Now, is there any word of the vocabulary here or any word that you are not able to understand? Or you understand it all? 
Um, <clears throat> what does it mean? Uh, wheels. Wheels, llantas, four wheels, cuatro llantas. And the wheels? Llantas. Uh, yes, wheels. llantas, wheels. Okay. All right, so we're going to move on to the next. Wheels. And let me see here, we have the two forms. These guys, estas son las dos formas to make a question in simple present. ¿Cómo le llamamos a este tipo de preguntas? The number one. <clears throat> How do we call to these questions? Simple question. We can say simple questions or yes or no questions. Desde el momento en que usted vea que está el do y el das al inicio, automatically, automáticamente va a ser yes or no question. Okay. So now, here we have another example. Do you read books? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Esa ya la sabemos. Does Peter play football? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. The one that we don't know, la que no sabemos ahorita, is this one, number two. What is the difference <clears throat> questions number one and questions number two? Questions number two are different. Why? Because here we are using a WH question at the beginning. Estamos utilizando una WH question al inicio. So, which means, lo que significa que automatically, automáticamente, cuando veo una WH at the beginning, ya no voy a responder ni con sí, ni no. There, this, uh, the answer is going to change. And vamos a dar una respuesta larga. So we can ask the pregunta, where do you meet your friends? Yes. No, that's not possible. In English, we are not able to say that. So we can see some examples. What do you play on your computer? I play games on my computer. So you see, we're giving more. We're giving a long or complete answer. When does your mother go to work? She goes to work at six o'clock. ¿Por qué modificamos aquí el verbo, chicos? Porque es tercera persona. We're using third, correct. So where do you meet your friends? I meet them at the bus stop. So is it clear how do we, how do we make questions? Si está claro cómo hacer preguntas en simple present? Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Uh, I will ask you a question right now on the chat. And that's the question. Necesito que todos me den, everyone, I need you to give me an answer to that question. Write it on the chat, please. Only one question, teacher. No, I mean, I need the answer. No, I gave you the question. I let's do la, la pregunta ahí en el chat. But, but in the chat of the call. Well, hi. The question is, where do you eat pupusas? Okay, I got the answer of Melissa. Mm -hmm. it says, I eat pupusas in my house. Omar says, I eat pupusas in los planes. Christian says, I eat pupusas in the rumba. I don't know where the rumba is, but it sounds good. Mm. Okay, what about the others? I'm still missing some of you. <coughs> Rodrigo says, I eat pupusas in different places. Rocio says, I eat pupusas in Oloquilta City. All right. All your answers, todas sus respuestas are correct. Georgina, thank you very much. So, 
all your answers are correct. Remember, if you see that the question starts with do or does, how are we going to respond? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Excellent, that's correct. What's gonna happen if you see that the question starts with the WH question? What is going to happen? How are you going to answer? The answer is more long. More long, correct. A longer uh, answer, that is good. So I think that uh, right now we understood a little bit how to use um, or how to make questions. So we're gonna go directly guys to, nos vamos a ir directo a practica, and this practice, what I need you to do is not necessary. No va a ser necesario que lo escriban acá, like the verb. Solo voy a necesitar que los verbs me los pongan de la manera que debe ser. But it says there, Form the third person singular of the simple present and write these forms on the grid. No voy a necesitar que las escriban en el grid, aquí en los cuadritos, but si sí voy a necesitar que todas las, las, las hagan. Oh, okay. So you can help each other in the verbs. So you can take a screenshot if you want to. So you let me know when you're done so I can move to the next one. So I'm gonna take that as a yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move on to this one. And this one, what we're going to do is to make questions. As you can see there, we're making questions. Okay, so pay attention a little bit about it. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. And I will stop sharing. And I will send you to the breakout rooms. Since we are nine, we're going to go four and four. OK? So just let me move some people to another group. Here we can have another person. And here, here, and here, here. All right, guys, I will be checking you all. Please go ahead and join your room.
What happened, Rodrigo? You Perdón. Yo sin querer me, me, me salí del, del Zoom. Sin querer me salí. Okay, so don't worry. So we're almost about to finish. So we just have, uh, let's see, three minutes actually. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to close the... But did you finish or something or you didn't? No, I... I... I not finish. So you didn't finish. Okay, no problem. So I'm gonna close right now the breakout room so your classmates can come back to this section and we can see what did they do. I'm pretty sure that probably they didn't finish it all, but we're gonna see. Okay. Just wait. We're just gonna wait for the others to come back to the main session. Um, I don't remember, teacher. You, you don't remember what? Oh, here we are. Um, no, I don't remember the number section. No, it's okay. It's okay. All right, so we're just waiting for the others to come back to the main session, to this session. Uh, and because I can see still people on the groups. So we're just going to see how it goes. Let me share the screen right now so we can verify. That they worked in that. All right, so I see that the majority are here. Let's see, we're going to have a, a brief practice right now. For example, Melissa, in this part, how would you make how would you make a question in number one? Sorry? How would you make a question in number one? Um sorry. Uh... Do. Mm -hmm. Do what? Do you drink? Do you drink mineral water? Correct. Do you drink mineral water? That's good. Rocio, what do you think it will be in number two? Okay. Do Sarah and Linda to feel Taper. Correct. Excellent. What do you think it will be in number three, Jose? Or oh, Rodrigo, I mean. Rodrigo? Um, sí. Okay. And they... Number two? No, number three. Number three. Um, I'm sorry. Um, do your teacher check your homework there we have a problem why because your teacher is third person so we cannot say do your oh. teacher. that's excellent that's your teacher so guys uh well unfortunately we do not have enough time i do really appreciate the ones that are here los que subieron ahora en la clase eh, remember, solo esta semana y otros, probablemente estos días viernes, vamos a, a reponer. His classes are normally from Monday through Thursday, the lunes a jueves. But today we had class because we didn't have class on Monday. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for being here and have a good night. See you on Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sure. See you. Good night.